Hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's lesson where we got to think about Matilda's first day at school and we got to write our diary entry based on that event that happened. Now we're going to do a very similar thing in today's lesson. Our objective and success criteria is exactly the same as yesterday's lesson. We're going to be recording events from a story. We're going to see if we can listen to and understand a story. We're going to see if we can remember key events. We're going to see if we can use our own words to retell events. And we're going to see if we can consider our vocabulary and punctuation choices. So we're going to watch a different scene today. We're going to watch a scene where, oh no, Bruce Bogtrotter has stolen some of Miss Trunchbull's cake from a Miss Trunchbull's the evil headmistress. Rather than call his parents to discuss the problem, Miss Trunchbull has her own special way of punishing Bruce for his behaviour. What is going to happen? Well, we're going to find out something to do with the chocolate cake, and afterwards we're going to come back and see if we can talk about what we learned from the video. Smells chocolatey, eh? Now, eat it! I don't want any, thank you. Eat it! Don't eat it. She wouldn't give her cake. It's poison. Something's up. You look like you enjoyed that, Brucey. You must have some more. Uh, no thanks. But you'll hurt Cook's feelings. Huh? Cookie! She made this cake just for you to have on your very own. Her sweat and blood went into this cake, and you will not leave this platform until you have consumed the entire confection! Entire confection? See you at lunch. Thank you, Cookie. Rotten kids. You wanted cake, you got cake. Now eat it! will stay five 
some hours after school and copy from the dictionary. Any children who object will go straight into the chokey together. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that Bruce managed to eat that much cake. There is no way that I could eat that much cake. I'm sure I'd give it a try, but I don't think I'd be able to succeed like him. Very impressive. Now, our task is very similar to yesterday's task. Again, I'd like you to go to DB Primary and see if you can download the starter, because I've started a diary entry for you, where we're going to um, think about the events of Bruce's cake ordeal. Again, we're going to be writing pretending to be Matilda, so we're watching Bruce do all of these things, and you must write in the first person remembering that you are pretending to be Matilda. And again, I've put these six pictures there to help you think about the order that things happened, so we, when we're retelling, when we're recounting, it makes it easier for you. When you've finished, come back to this video and see if you can write your open and next step. Now our open is exactly the same as yesterday's lesson. Our objective was to recall events from the story. Now have a think about what you want your next step to be. The one that you wrote yesterday for your next step, hopefully you've been able to work on it a little bit today, because if you were thinking about what your next step was, you were going to put that into practice. If you didn't, then you need to make sure you write that as your next step again and work on it this time. If, however, you did work on that in today's lesson, have a think about what you could do to move your learning on next time.